It is Friday, December 8th. I'm Nicole Burley here in Chicago. We do begin with the war between Israel and Hamas and the push for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. This as sirens blare over Tel Aviv just within the past few hours. And you can see this video really illustrates the stark reality that the terrorist group is still capable of reaching the Israeli city with its rockets. Meantime, the war has engulfed every part of Gaza, even mosques, where at least three people were killed, 15 injured. And there's really no sign this fighting will stop anytime soon as we give you that live look there. News Station's Robert Sherman live for us in Israel. And Robert, the U.N. just delayed a vote by several hours. And this is obviously a big conversation here, Nicole, as the Israelis continue on with their operation in Gaza overnight, hitting 450 targets, pounding the Gaza Strip by land, air and sea. We saw the naval arm of the Israelis knocking out Hamas infrastructure as well as their intelligence centers as well. So the Israelis saying that they're seeing advances in northern Gaza, the south and along the Mediterranean coast as well. Here in Israel, the Hanukkah celebration is underway. Tonight marks the second night of Hanukkah, and there's a very different feeling in the air. Families of hostages trying to carry on, continue to celebrate their tradition, hoping and praying they'll see their loved ones again soon. This is the first day of Hanukkah. Hanukkah is the festival or the holiday of light and and not just light, of miracles. And uh, I, wasn't hope, I wasn't thinking that alone would still be in, in Gaza. That is the mother of hostage Alone Ohel, taken captive October 7th. The last text message she got from him, he said he was in a bomb shelter. He hasn't been seen or heard from since. There's a lot of those stories that people are telling here amid the Hanukkah holiday. The White House saying at this point, there are no more hostage deals in sight. We're, we're not close to inking another deal on a humanitarian pause, um, and nor do I have any uh, news to break here today about the return of, of hostages, either ours or those of many other countries that are being held hostage. Um, we're still trying to get as much information as we can about the hostages that are being held. So no indication another deal is coming. But despite that, you hear world leaders calling for a ceasefire in Gaza with the situation that is at hand. The U.N. estimating about 80 percent of Gazans have been displaced. And you hear anecdotal accounts coming out of the Gaza Strip of people struggling to find food and medicine. And when they can find it, sometimes they can't even afford it. Nicole. Right. And, you know, Robert, you mentioned these calls for a humanitarian ceasefire, but we are hearing there's been another attack this time on the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. What more do we know about that? Yeah, information a little bit slow to trickle in, Nicole, but what we do know about that is, is that several rockets were fired at the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad, Iraq, according to U.S. officials there. No casualties or anything of the kind. And interesting to note, no group has taken responsibility for this yet, though. Uh, this underscores what we've been seeing over the last couple of weeks around the region with all of those U.S. positions that have come under fire and attack in recent weeks. And it just goes to show how much tension there is in the region here, something that we have not seen dissipating in the slightest, Nicole. Yeah, not at all. All right, Robert Sherman, live first there in Tel Aviv. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.